wanted to post another video of my pin router. I think in one of the videos of me building the Les Paul DC, I talk about it, but wanted to give you guys a little bit longer video of this pin router. It's an old Stanley pin router that's got the base that moves up and down here on the handle right here. It's got a foot pedal that moves up and down here. So I can lower it, raise it and lower it. There's probably about three to four inches of travel based on this foot pedal. Table is nice and big. I've got, uh, I don't know, maybe 25, 26 inches throat all the way to the back. So what I've done here is I've got my different pins that I use depending on what I'm doing. So this is a half inch pin. What I'll use that with a a downward spiral bit and I'll do my sides and edges and whatnot. I've got a eighth inch bit here that I do when I run fretboards. I've got a couple fretboard templates. Then I've got this real little one for uh, small inlays. And this space isn't perfect but for what I do it works out pretty well. And then the different bits What's great about having uh, this Porter cable router up here is that I can either use half inch or quarter inch bits and I can even use eighth inch bits if I use a collet uh, inside the quarter inch. And here I can use all different types of router bits. I can use roundovers, I can use the straight bits, I can use the bearing bit. What's nice about using the, the beaded edge bit for binding is that I can set this up and now I could just raise it or lower it real quickly and I've got a flat perpendicular edge. So having a pin router for me for building guitars is definitely critical. Uh, but ter in terms of form and function, this really doesn't, you don't really get any better. I've got this that holds this down, holds the arm. This, These clamps here hold this space where it actually moves up and down based on this handle. And then at some point, this table, there's a hole in the middle here, so if you want to do uh, more, um, you know, molding type of work, or you need the bit to go all the way down to the table, that can be done as well. Really handy machine. Um, really enjoy working with this, this Stanley pin router. I have, actually I bought two of these at one point. One for parts, I have another arm, and I have another arm here can't find the base. Uh, it's a pretty rare tool to come by. When I bought this from a guy, uh, I was really excited because uh, the functionality of this tool is perfect. I had a bigger uh, pin router at one point and it was great uh, for doing the edges of the guitars but it was really hard to get the pin lined up all the time. So this is my pin router. Uh, some of the pin routers that they sell on Grizzly or um, some of the, the routing magazines. Those work pretty well as well, uh, but ideally you want to go with an old iron pin router like this and uh, it's really flexible with having this Porter Cable, you know, 115 volt router.